so guys let's jump in into the seventh tutorial of our great app and let's see what we have to do here so first of all we have to create the collection or the documents or the data in our firestore and it has to be sorted with the user id i will show you once it's done you will understand why am i taking here the user id so whenever the user id whenever the whenever there is like a user who is signing up he or she will have a separate a particular section to her or his id that will sort out whatever that they are ordering so we will take this and final collection reference we will call this bruce collection and uh, is equals to firestore and we will take instance dot collection and we want the collection names to be bruce and in that there will be user id and then whatever they are ordering what is their name what is the strength and all that so we will create an async method here because it takes time to create this like takes few seconds depending on the internet connection observe user data and what are we passing in there string name string sugars and integer strength this is a little bit complicated so pay attention but it won't be too hard once we get a hold of it so collection dot document make a document for us with the uid set data and this is a map so yep we can add a semicolon here so what are we passing in here sugars is equals to sugars name these are like we are making up the keys name and strength is strength so that's done and let's create a list that is going to store this like when we fetch this data we are fetching the list right that is why we had created this so we will create a list list and what is the model brew because we are typing these same values in that and we can name this brew list from snapshot because all the data that is being fetched is stored in the snapshot so since we are asking the database to send us so we will curing in a way curing it and return from where do we return like here because we have created a model so name is going to be doc dot data So actually it has to be snapshot dot documents dot map doc. And now we will return our brew model inside in here because this will cycle through the whole document whole collection that wherever we are curing from so right now we are curing from the user id whoever the user is display his or hers information whatever they have ordered so here we will pass the parameters doc Talk data so get it from name 
strength doc dot data make sure you keep the same spelling as above because otherwise it will not be fetched sugars doc dot data sugars and that's all okay perfect and now what we have to do lastly now it's iterable but it's not list yet so we will to list now it's changed to list also we have to create some other methods also but for now what we will do is we will uh, we will uh, stick with this and we will add something more in here yeah we need like methods to display our this data into the settings that we are going to create but we are not there yet so let's just add the data and how do we add and when do we add we add it once once the user is registering <clears throat> so once the user is registering we will add this and we can say await database service Bruce collection document user dot no it's like we have to pass in here something that I might be forgetting so let's just pause in for a while and see yeah we have to pass the dummy values in here So we have to, this constructor is taking a user ID. If we come back in here, it's taking a user ID. So we have to pass URD is going to be equals to the user ID of the Firebase user that has registered because we are adding So here is the user ID sign in user dot uh, let's check. Yeah, sign in user URD. Okay, so this has been passed. We have passed the UID and now we are going to use this method that we have created in this database class. So if I'm not wrong, this was async or what? I think this was async. Yeah. So that is why we are adding await here otherwise there will be no need to add await so here we need name so we can pass new user sugars is zero and strength we can write is 100 because our color is starting from 100 to 900 and we are passing whatever the strength is to the the circle circular avatar okay so that's it and if it's successful let's register and yeah this will this error will not go away so i will like uh, re restart the app and if it is successful then it should show us this dummy data being listed in our firestore database so right now here is nothing and if it is successful then okay i will just create a new user because once we were creating with our old user we didn't use this method so i will just delete it 
and now whenever the user is created these dummies dummy values are also added to database okay don't worry about it because we haven't used the list but what we have to see if our method to add yeah see here it has created this is the user id and whatever we have entered it's here so you see this this is the user id because this is user id contains the information so whoever is signing in whoever is signing up is getting a separate user id a unique user id and is being assigned all the information so let's say two users are signing in so it it is easier to identify that it's all about bruce okay now it can be about pricing here so we can have a separate field but what about the brew so this is the user let's say sam he wants like light coffee and then another user can come here and they can have their own field so I'll go to authentication and yeah here I have registered so this is being successful and we have added the dummy data now how do we show this data now this data is not open here right this data belongs to someone so we need the user ID of that user in order to display this data here right because this is this data is inside the user ID of someone this data belongs to someone so in the next tutorial what we will do is we will create a user data class that helps us to display this dummy data here of the user that we have registered thank you